Hey YouTube, so in this video I'm going to be showing how to install that Thunderbolt card that we did an unboxing video on the channel recently. So that's going to be the GC Maple Ridge Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 add-in card. And this is going to be going into the X670E Aorus Master. And I think I've got the motherboard box here just to showcase. So this is a specific one that we're going to be installing the Thunderbolt 4 card in. Uh, and then it's equipped with a Ryzen 9 7950X. So the main thing is you have to be able to install these cables, in particular the USB uh, 2.0 header cable, and then you also need the 5 pin Thunderbolt 4. So this is the THB U4 cable. So that has to go. So currently I, you can't see the connector because it's, it's underneath the graphics card. So we'll have to remove this triple slot behemoth of a card. I've already taken the power cable off. You can see it over there. So we're going to have to take this out. So the nice thing about this, if you notice, this is, I guess this is a good opportunity to illustrate Gigabyte's uh, quick disconnect. I forgot what they call it. Uh, but this right here will detach the GPU. i got to take the screws off over here first. Um, but if you notice, because I have this Noctua NHD15 cooler, uh, on the CPU, I can't easily reach down there um, unless I were to use like a, you know, like a, a stick or some kind of tool to actually press down on there, or or I have to literally pull the GPU out and pop the clip off and hope that it doesn't break the the ends of it there. Um, so that's not really good. So it's very nice that they added this. This helps people with large air coolers like myself uh, more so than people with liquid cooling, but. Anyway, so that's that's really nice to have. So we're gonna go ahead and use this Be Quiet screwdriver that came with the Be Quiet coolers uh, and to remove that and then we'll be back. All right, so what I would probably do first is I'll probably run the cables that I know I'm going to use off of this thing. So I don't know if we need to use the these uh, PCIe optional power cables. These are if you want to charge something off of the Thunderbolt ports or the USB-C ports. So I'll leave those off for now. Since I don't really think I'm going to be plugging in anything that's going to need to charge off of this. So one thing to note is it is electrically X4. So that requires a PCIe uh, either by 16 by 8 or by 4 You cannot use a by one or by 2 by 2 is literally by one uh, so if you look here, let me zoom in a little bit. So on the Gigabyte board, you have the X16 slot here for the graphics card, and that can take up to four, well, you can see here it's three slot, but if it goes into the four slot territory, like those new 4090 cards, you'll still have enough clearance space here to fit this card, because the card has to go in the second X16 slot. And the reason why that is, is because this one is wired X4. If you were to plug it into this bottom one here, even though it looks like it's by four, it's actually only by two. So the so this is the only slot, the second slot is the only one that will work out of those two. You can't put that in the um, the third slot, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and okay, so the first one we'll plug in is the USB 2. So you can see here they are identical ends. So you want to make sure you line that up. So and the thing is there's a notch. I don't know if it's focusing, but right there. So the bottom end is gonna go in like this. Alright. So we'll just let that dangle there. And then now for the five pin, so this is the important cable. So this one you want, I think, I think it only goes one way. So that goes in there. So now that's good to go. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. So you want to line that up with the slot. There you go. So that's in. So that's kind of how it looks. Once it's in, just make sure that it lines up with the screw hole. Now we're going to put the screw back on. All right, so that's in. Everything looks good. Now we're going to do the cable part. 
So for the first one, so I said the USB 2, this one needs to go to a USB 2.0 header on the board. So I see two down there. You can see one, two. So we'll just pick one of those. This will do the one that's closer to the card. All right, so that's in, so it's the first cable. And then the second cable is gonna go to the THB U4 header, which is further up on the board. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cable management. We'll do that in post. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this. So here you wanna locate that Thunderbolt header and it's gonna be right here, right above the SATA, next to the quick disconnect button. All right, so it looks like it's probably not gonna be this one. So it's gonna it's gonna be the one that looks like it's it's part of like a split or a splitter there. So it's gonna be this this end, I, I believe, not this end. So it's gonna be that end, the end that's at the part. So we're gonna go there. Uh, make sure. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. Seems like it's in. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the GPU back in. We're gonna do some cable management. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so once you get everything reconnected in, it should look something like this. So if we just kind of look at the add-in card here, you can see it's in the buy four slot. Uh, so it's plugged in. You can see the, the Thunderbolt header cable down here. And you have the USB 2 header. Both of those are going across. Now you can't see the Thunderbolt header cable because it's underneath the GPU. The GPU is too big that it overhangs the motherboard. So this is something to keep in mind. That's basically it. We're going to get all this connected. All right. So once you're back in to the BIOS after reconnecting everything and powering everything back up, there will be a new sub menu that will appear under settings. So real quick, what you'll do is you will go up here. So you'll go to settings and then on the left, you're gonna to wanna to go to where it says IO ports. And then now, what's strange is it says Titan Ridge configuration, um, because technically we've installed a Maple Ridge card. So Titan Ridge is the Thunderbolt 3 added card, um, but this is just a label, so it shouldn't matter. And the thing is Thunderbolt 4 and th is pretty much the same bandwidth wise as Thunderbolt 3. The main difference is it is now backwards compatible with USB 4 and it has a more stringent requirement uh, from Intel in order to validate Thunderbolt 4. Um, so uh, even though it says Titan Ridge, that's it's still Maple Ridge. So um, it says USB Type-C with Titan Ridge. So if we click on this or go in here, USB Type-C with Titan Ridge support is enabled. USB-C with Titan Ridge boot support is enabled. So you, I guess that means you can boot off of a drive that's connected into that Thunderbolt port and then you have security level. Now here, uh, you know, you can specify some settings, but we're not really gonna do that. Memory allocation per port, you can specify a memory value. I think the maximum, I don't know what the maximum is. Well, actually, we'll just leave it at default for now. And then prefetch memory allocation per port. So this is reserved prefetch memory for Thunderbolt. So there you go, that should be it. All right, and then the final step, once you're booted into Windows, uh, if you open up Device Manager, it will show an other device, universal serial bus USB controller with it's a question mark because it doesn't know what to do with it. So here you'll have to install the drivers. So you want to go to just just search in your search engine GC GC Maple Ridge, and you want to go to Gigabyte's official website here. So it tells you that it has an Intel Thunderbolt 4 certified add-in card with the JHL 8540 Thunderbolt 4 controller. So that we want to enable these USB-C ports on here. So you're going to click on support. And that will bring up this. And you're going to want to download, depending on your operating system. So if you're on Windows 11, uh, it's going to be this top one here. You're going to want to download that. Uh, and then uh, if you're on Windows 10, it says Windows 10 support. So I believe that's the only driver you really need. So hope you guys uh, found that video useful. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.